B stands assisted pull up. Now, when setting up for this exercise, we want the bar at about chest or shoulder height. Um, you can go a little bit higher, that will make it a little bit easier. You can go a little bit lower and that'll make it a little bit harder, but there is a sweet point. So if you go too high, your feet will be off the ground and it defeats the purpose of this variation. And if you go too low, you won't be able to get full range of motion. So again, bar at about shoulder or chest height. So this is a regression of a pull up because we've got our legs on the floor to give us assistance. That way, that way they're not acting as dead weight and increasing the intensity of the exercise like what a normal pull up would be. So before I get into the exercise, one thing you need to really keep in mind from a safety perspective is the line of pull, the position in which you're applying force. Now in this position here, I'm pulling into the rack. The bar literally cannot go anywhere. Whereas if I was to pull from this direction where there is no support of the rack and something was to happen, the bar could potentially slip out and slam me right in the face. So that's really, really important that you keep that in mind. Always pull into the rack. That's gonna be the safe position and the bar won't slide or go anywhere. All right, always pull into the rack. So once we've got that out of the way, the setup and safety precaution, execution of the actual exercise. So first things first, you're gonna have a firm grip on the bar, overhand position because it's a pull up. We're gonna go either shoulder grip or just outside, sorry, shoulder width or just outside of shoulder width. One leg is gonna be bent, one leg is gonna be straight. My chest is gonna remain vertical and I'm just gonna pull up. One more. Now, proper execution of the lift, all the way down, all the way up, all the way up being your chin over the bar. If you're performing this exercise correctly, you should feel a good amount of engagement through your lats, this muscle here on the side. You really wanna think about pulling the arms down and bringing the chest up and out. You wanna avoid shrugging up. Now, when it comes to the B stance, the setup of the legs, it doesn't matter which leg is straight and which leg is bent, that's irrelevant. Um, what matters is just the assistance they're giving you. So obviously, if fatigue starts to really kick in, you can use your legs a little bit more to help assist with the pull up. But really, they're more just there in that position to be eliminated. So that way you can really just focus on your upper body when you're pulling this, uh, when you're performing this pull up variation. Um, lastly, a really common mistake that most people will make is that you wanna keep this as a pull, not a horizontal pull. So sorry, you wanna keep this as a vertical pull, not a horizontal pull. So a common mistake people will make is they'll lift their hips up, the chest will drop, and it'll look like this. You wanna to aim to keep your torso vertical throughout the entire movement, like that. You want it to mirror what a pull-up would look like. 